More than 3,000 workers from South Korea's Hyundai Motors have rallied in Busan to demand better labor conditions. And the company's 45,000 union workers in South Korea launched a two-day partial strike on Tuesday after wage talks with Hyundai's managers broke down. A union member said they will not stop the strikes until an acceptable offer is made. We cannot help but stage strikes because a reasonable demand by the union members who are working hard on the ground has been ignored. If the company suggests an acceptable offer to us, the union will stop the strikes. Well, the workers' demands include a one-off payment of 2.45 billion U.S. dollars from the company's record 2012 profit and gold medals for long-serving employees. A Dawai securities analyst said uh, the hourly labor cost for Hyundai's domestic factories was over 22 U.S. dollars per worker in 2012, more than triple the $6.88 U.S. paid to workers in its China plant. And according to the company's regulatory filings, Hyundai workers' average annual salary has more than doubled to nearly 84,000 U.S. dollars. But the automaker's net profits for the April to June period fell for a third consecutive quarter. And the drop is partly due to weekend production stoppages stemming from a wage dispute with the union.